After a strenuous climb in Greenwich Park, we reached the Royal Observatory, which has played a major role in the history of astronomy and navigation. It was the first purpose-built scientific facility in Britain. On the wall outside the observatory gate, the 24-hour clock is an early example of an electric slave clock, set to run on Greenwich Mean Time. GMT is now often called Universal Time. The workings of the clock can be seen through a window on the inside of the wall. Below the clock, the standard imperial lengths are on display. The separation of the inside faces of the marks is exact at an ambient temperature of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Mounted on the outside wall, running down and across the path, a brass strip marks the Greenwich Meridian. It is inside the gates that the tourists flock. This stainless steel strip in the courtyard marks the Meridian Line. A laser projected from the observatory marking the Prime Meridian Line is visible for 25 miles. The Meridian Telescope is in two parts. This four foot length by the window and a much larger part, 12 feet in length. It is mounted to only move in the plane of the meridian. It was used to determine Greenwich Mean Time. This building houses a museum that's full of scientific instruments for measuring time, distance and position. All sizes of telescope are on display, from these that you could easily move on a tripod, so this giant of a beast, the 28-inch Grubb Refracting Telescope of 1893, the largest of its kind in the UK. This is one of the few surviving interiors by Sir Christopher Wren. It was originally called the Star Room. Its octagonal shape and the 13-foot high windows were designed for the long telescopes used in the 17th century. Some of the visitors are attempting to look through this mock-up. This drawing shows how it would have been used. Two clocks which were installed in the 20 feet high octagon room were of unusual design, each with a pendulum 13 feet in length mounted above the clock face. Concealed behind the panelling, these timekeepers only need winding once a year. The octagonal building is surmounted by the famous time ball, which is dropped to indicate Greenwich Mean Time at 1300 every day. In days before radio, the dropping of the time ball was an extremely important event, allowing ship's captains to accurately set their chronometers. It is kept in the down position most of the time to avoid wind damage. <laughs>